all the demon families are gathering right now. But don't worry, because CodKingdom.com has got what you need for Streets of New Capenna. Go get your singles, go get your sealed product, get whatever you need at CodKingdom.com. Yo, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Fish 5-0. This week, we're playing a list that was originally piloted by Alan Winden uh, to a 5-0 finish on a Moto League, and I thought it was one of the sweetest things because I've been wanting to make Poppet Stitcher and Sag Morwich work for quite some time. Uh, and, you know, I've made some lists, and, you know, I saw them do it, so maybe let's take theirs for a spin. Uh, but for the most part, it is just the Demir Tempo list that you've seen me play before with some more consistency, more four-ofs. You know me and my one and two ofs. But yeah, uh, they're playing everything that you could ask for, Fading Hope, but most importantly, they're also playing another card I love, Siphon Insight. Once I saw Siphon Insight plus Pop, like Poppy and Grammy, uh, I knew I had to play this deck. So we're going to see if we can get there uh, and repeat some of the success they've had on the ladder. Uh, nothing to do, but I do have this Surveil spell. Uh, whatever, I, I think I'm going to keep this. I have a Consider. Hopefully I draw some gas here. All right, I gotta dig something now. Oh, that's not the best, but whatever. Good God, that's terrible. All my lands? All right, well, what are you gonna do? What? Okay. I guess I'll take that, sure. So we play Poppet Stitcher. Let's hope that I can survive this, though. This is going to be kind of tough. They're going to have probably protection spells, or they're going to have Fate of Hope or Fade Hope. I mean, if they play something like just the Crusader card or whatever, Cathar, Crusader, Brutal Cathar, I guess that's fine. Are you done? Oh, okay, cool. Oh, uh, I get to connive. Yeah, we don't, we don't like that, right? I'm killing the, the conniving card. That thing goes way too hard. Although, it, it yeah, they both do the same thing, essentially. That draws a card, that draws a card, that has double strike, this has flying, so yeah, I'd rather deal with the Drake, because the double strike is very brutal. If I get to untap with Poppet Stitcher, though, it's going to be pretty cool. We can get a decent amount of stuff from their deck, probably. Unless we're, like, we hit double lands, then that's not great. Holy cow, this person's, like, in the tank. They probably have more copies of, ah, uh, okay. There you go, that's why. That makes sense. Fair. Yeah, they're just gonna go in the air, right? So we hit them for two, and then I gotta find something. I don't know what the bigger deal is though. I think it might be the Drake. Maybe they don't know my zombie can't block. They know too much. They know I can't block. Uh oh. What do you got for me? Ah, oh, that's really good. That's really good actually, holy cow. I mean, you clearly have something you want to do. Ah, uh, Fading Hope. Interesting, interesting, interesting. I mean, they can bounce a zombie. They're more than welcome to. I forgot. This is at the beginning of my upkeep, so I wouldn't be able to do what I wanted to do, which was to flip my uh, my token or my poppet stitcher. Any point, if you'd like, you can take your play or your turn if you want. Unless this is like a massive march. That'd be hilarious, but I don't know why they would do that. So the hardest turn ever. What do they target? These three things? That's okay. Sure. Uh, I kind of like leaving my mana up here, so let's just pass. I'm not going to get my Poppet Stitcher back anytime soon, though. How do I make it so that I don't get completely wrecked this turn? You finally have your third mana, so that's concerning. I need the digging ability. I don't imagine insight is gonna help me find an answer, but maybe another march isn't bad. You've shown me that you have slip away or slip out the back. Every, every decision, hardest decision ever. Let's phase these out. Spell pierce, masterful. Okay, okay. That's obviously very good. All right, I'm at four, so if I don't find an answer to said Storm Chaser Drake, we die. We gotta stop giving our opponent chances to respond. Oh, thank God. Okay, cool. I thought that was gonna take five minutes. That's not an answer. Can I please just look through your deck? 
So I can slip out the back to maybe grow the Storm Chaser Drake, but then phase it out, so that feels pretty good. Yup. Okay, so they have Shijiri Shelter. I have the ability to counter plus do- Oh, that's really good. That might actually save our butts. Do they randomly have a way to blow up my stuff? I sure hate that. All right, so let's get in for nine. We'll pop it off. Pass. It's their turn. They're free to do whatever. We were able to hit, out, hit the slip out the back, which was very important for us. And we also have, you see, a guard approach. So we could tap it down at the very least. And I think the line is to use negate plus slip out the back and you see a guard approaching. Yep, let's help you slip out the back here. Uh, tap target creature. This is the showdown right here. This is the their last turn. All right, cool. All right, cool. So it doesn't get to phase out, but whatever. And then now we have, they only have one blocker. So they need a land plus a way to kill two, uh, like kill one thing. Oh, thank God it's my turn. Maybe. Like they have to bounce right now. They cannot let me untap. They can block one, bounce the other. Actually, no, that's still nine. So they kill two things. So they could march, which would phase everything out. But that would be on my turn. So we win. Cause yeah, they block, they bounce. That's still nine getting through. So they kill two things. All right, they're taking way too long, so we're just gonna BM them. <laughs> they're taking way too long, so we're gonna just BM them. So if they go for the big march here, we're gonna just counter it. Damage. I mean, it's their clock, so I, I don't really mind. They're a full, like, six minutes behind, right? So whatever. Uh, all right, so they have white creatures. I actually think Raven Feeblemint's pretty good against them. Drake Demon Dra So I can actually also just use that... I don't think I want to fight them in a counter war because they're going to win that. I don't know if I sideboarded properly. This does nothing. I... Sure. I think. Yeah, you know what? That's fine. Oh my god. Everything is a play. What are you doing? Hurry up! Okay. Thank the lord. All right, so they play the dragon, the Drake again, which is what I want. They might be going too ham though, if I if I don't play it carefully here. Ah, so they're making sure they hold up blue mana to counter me back with spell pierce. So this tells me that I can play Poppet Stitcher safely. There's no one mana counter spell for a creature, but they can bounce my Poppet Stitcher. You see a guard approach? Maybe I want Delver. No, but Delver doesn't do much. I don't think I need a ton of them. Is what I mean. Oh god, no, that's terrible for us. Now they're playing faster, finally. I don't even care, just kill me. Like, just kill me, please. Just hurry up and win. <laughs> just do something faster. They have 1930, I've got 25 minutes. 26 minutes, pretty much. <laughs> they're playing the significantly faster deck. Yes, just, just please. Please, just kill me. Okay. Yep, six damage to my dome. Thank you. Dope. Do I get anything for attacking? Hopefully not. On the brighter side, I get to try to tap this down, and no matter what, something will happen. I don't know what, but something will happen. I'm gonna need my deck to come through for me and give me something to do. Because we're looking at, like, Sajiri Shelter, counter spells, all this other stuff. Y'all, they don't do anything, I'll just take eight. Sure, take eight. I'm down to six. Oh, that's good. Do they have something? Yeah, I'll send these two creatures in. I don't mind. Because let's say they give protection from a oh, blue, then I move something over with black. Right? I have my token, which is black and green. If they choose to like do some weird like massive phasing out right now, uh, then I go ahead and just kill the illuminator or try to. They would have to exile their whole hand. So yeah, I don't think that's gonna happen. They can't try disruption me. So I guess that's the good news. Would have really liked to have had the one mana spell that gives minus four to a, a white creature. Not good enough, just not good enough. Bad at MTG.net. <laughs> I'm bad at MTG.net. My turns have been 40 seconds. <laughs> not gonna lie to you, they're tanking so hard. I wonder how much of this applies into every game they play. 
every decision. Should I, what land should I play turn one? Okay. Yeah, I mean, you cast one more spell, you connive. All right, go ahead. I mean, I don't mind just throwing the poppet stitcher in front of them. Oh, okay, sure. If they attack, there's a chance they die, unless they phase me out entirely. No blocks. Do they have double strike? You could phase out onto my turn, or and then that'd be great if they just tapped out right now and phase everything of mine out and exiled their whole hand. I don't think that's gonna happen, but. All right, some Drizzy, Drizzy Drake. Yes, I would like to transform, please. Just one though. I drew a land. I'm just not that good. That's the problem. A better magic player would have drawn a spell. Three, six, nine, twelve. They block one. I die all the same. So my game plan might be to try to block in the like so what do they have? Slip out the back? That's what it looks like. It looks like it's slip out the back. I have to kill the thing in the air. I can chump the ones on the ground automatically if I can kill one or get them to slip it out. That means they automatically take three. They block the other three. So that's three, six, nine, only 11. They're two. Send everybody in. Oh wait, could I have done this differently? No, but I don't I don't want to get it phased out. That's the thing. If they're going to phase it, I wanted them to do it on their turn. If they give it hexproof, I'm dead anyways. So that that wasn't going to change anything except for maybe I could have gotten them to block, but they would just block the stitcher with the luminark. All right, they got it. That's fine. At least they have 13 minutes, so somehow in within two games, they're almost out of time. So if I can just keep that up, that's perfect. Okay, how does this play out with us? You know what? That's fine. I'll keep this hand. This hand's actually not the worst thing. I've got to stick my Stitcher, but I do have a Fading Hope. I can s consider to find, like, maybe a, a removal spell, like Ray. Sure. We'll go with the black mana side. I need them to tap out for a two drop here. I mean, maybe they spell pierce this. That's fine. Also, they have 13 minutes left. So if they, that's fine now if they just keep taking the longest turns possible, right? Oh, sure. That's fine. So I have two left in the deck. Yeah, there's no reason for me not to uh, just windmill slam pop it stitcher now because they see disruption. They're going to know to play around it. And you know what? Even better, the longer they spend looking through my library, the more less time they have. So at the very least, I'm going to play to clock. I probably shouldn't have even conceded last game. Or wait, did I die? Cool. All right, their turn. Let's see how long their turn takes. They have 12 minutes. Actually, I think some there's going to be a winner before the 12 minutes are up. There's no way this game should go to time. I've been wrong before. So they brought in Test of Talents. So they're definitely ready to count. Like, they must have a second copy. Slip out the back. You got it immediately. Get it. Great. Just pass back to them. 11 minutes 30. On average, I think every play takes them about like 30 seconds. So if I can get them to make like five plays a turn, I can probably kill their whole clock. And we take the damage from the Drake 100%. I don't even try to do anything about it. <laughs> See, they're, they're, they already lost almost all the time. It's almost been two minutes and they played a land. I don't care. I just want to get my token. I mean, they're going to play around my Jawara Disruption, right? So keep going, I guess. I could try to remove it, force like Spell Pierce out of their hand, but that just seems bad, right? So that's fine. Okay. Pass. We might be able to actually win this race, depending on how long they take uh, for their turns. So nine minutes left, they're under 10 minutes. This is great. They must have more, right? What does that do? Put a shield counter on target creature. Just go for it again. I just want to get as many bodies as I can out there. Now they can spell pierce or Jawar disruption. Nice. Cool. That's all you, buddy. 
So I take four, they'll take 11 if this flips, but I don't know. Looks like it might not because they don't want me to flip my tokens here. But if they're going to bounce anything, it should be Poppet Stitcher. They have eight minutes. I mean, surely it won't take them like 15 minutes or like eight minutes to take three turns. So they know about Jorari Disruption, so there's no getting around that. They can get five more health on top of it or they can get five damage in that turns it into a three turn clock but i'm sure they have other ways like slip out the back things like that so i need to find well no ray of enfeeblement doesn't work on this so i've got a fading hope them and reset like I, i'm pretty sure they're intentionally taking as long as they can though so okay seems good oh that's so bad okay can they give plus four? They have plus one there. That's three. They need three more. So one more copy of Homestead Courage. Okay. So they need three more damage. Two more damage. Oh, I realized I shouldn't have... I don't know why I did this. You lose two life until end of turn. I, no, wait. There's no way to count, get around that. So sure. So can they deal one more damage? Great. I mean, I'm hoping they don't pay for it and they just get in for one. Although there's no reason for them not to go for it because they're dead if they don't. But I'm going to make them do it. Holy cow. Thank you so much. All right. Sure. They did it. They figured it out. You're very good. <laughs> hmm. I think I'm going to just play this hand. Seems kind of sketch, but you know what? Whatever. They duress me turn one, this, that'll like wreck me. Interesting. Looks like I'm getting this blown up. Oh, they don't have anything yet. Well, I thought they would have had like a shock or something. So it looks like it's Jeskai hit controller Hinata. Sick. Super sick. Okay. Ah, uh, I want them to think I have something. I don't, but whatever. So they use their three damage removal spell. That's good. So now I can get to play my poppet stitcher, maybe. Let's find out. Does this get like dry disruptioned? Pain. Pain. Okay. Oh, and they got the mana. That sucks. Will I actually get to keep my drawer or my poppet stitcher? Looks like a no. Or they, or they have a dragon and they're just going to try to beat me down. Yeah. Okay. So I have to find removal. Infernal Grasp, please. I think I've got a Salindi Vision and dig for a removal spell here. Although I don't know how I beat... What is that? Five, seven, nine, eleven mana already? God, Goldspan Dragon is, was a big mistake. I don't want to get Jawara Disruption again, so... We're gonna see what happens. They have the big spell. Okay, I'll, I'll concede to that. Good game. Magma Opus wins the game there. So they have no shortage of things that I need to get rid of. Do we get to play a better game of magic here? We have no win conditions, no start. Maybe I should mulligan this, but I'm gonna keep it. Find out if I get punished for it. Opponent mulligan though. We tuck away, behold the multiverse. So this way, if anything, I need to draw a card. I can do that. I mean, I'm hoping I draw my land naturally so I don't have to force myself into this. That That's sad. That that hurts. That hurts a lot. The poppet stitcher going on top of, like, not hitting the land. Like, one of those, like, you know, come on. Come on, game. Come on. Yeah. Yeah, that, that was rough. That was rough. Things I don't want my opponent to do for four mana. I don't know. I'm going to go ahead and just play my Reckoner and pass. Mirror Breaker. That's pretty good. Do we draw a land? Could really use one. Good at magic.net. All right. Blow this up. Pass. We use it on the, the token because it doesn't, you know, that doesn't kill the dragon. They definitely have something to protect that. I don't want to deal with that. I'm going to pass. Yeah, you know, I'm going to get rid of that too. Let's draw a card so we don't get spell pierced or something like that. Great. 
Yeah, I think I gotta hang back again. I'm oddly the control deck here. Let's try to draw. Okay. Decline. Let's keep drawing. That's not great. Oh, there we go. Cool. Play Delver. You know, this might be winnable. It might be. They have an answer to Delver. That's great. Sure. So now they're down to one card plus the draw. I'm assuming there's probably a Larry the Lobster somewhere in here, so I gotta save this for that. This being Infernal Grasp. Alright, so it's Magma Opus, so we're gonna counter that instantly. Perfect. Actually, oh my god, that's such a good draw. Oh my god. So they are Hinata as we expected. This scares me. I'll keep it. It's removal. Alright, so I have to make sure I remember that they play that random counterspell. Yeah, we hold up mana, because if they play Saga, I gotta counter that. I can't let them get too far ahead with that nonsense. This is fine. This is not the Saga. <laughs> says says the guy who also wants this card banned out of like every format. I think expressive iteration's too good. Let's see what do you have. Bank buster of your own. You know what, I, I, I like that. I gotta, I gotta push, right? I gotta try to counter this. This is like one of their engines to just sit and do nothing with. All right, cool. So we gotta play their bank buster. Really hoping they don't have... Okay, I'll counter that just to keep them off their cards for a little bit if I can. Dry Disruption here is very good, but... Yeah. I probably should have just let that go. Ah. Uh... Well, I was rewarded by drawing exactly the same thing again. Question is, can I let this live? I think I have to. There's such a big risk of something worse, like a... But they have all that mana, but there's nothing I can do about that. Yomp, that's it. That's one of the things we don't want. Let's keep drawing. That kind of helps, I guess. They're about to rack up so many treasures. Oh my god. Mmm. Mmm. Okay. Let's let it all happen. Oh, this is so bad. Okay. That's not good. Alright, so they just net six mana. Or uh, four mana. I don't think I have a way to kill this dragon, and I and I cannot let it live, so I have to find something now. A land. There it is. The answer I was waiting for. A land. I think they got this. Oh. No, if I wait in their turn, they're just gonna... Yeah, okay, I gotta kill it now. I don't like this. They get too much mana from this. Two, four, six, eight. They have another dragon, I'm like dead. Because now Reflections is live. Oh, yeah, they got it. GG's. It's okay. We'll win a game. I think we'll win a game. We lost our first two, but at least I'm always happy that these players aren't taking 5,000 years. So I'll always take that. Those losses, as long as they play fast. Oh my god, I flipped a Delver. Oh my god, I flipped a Delver. Hello? It's me. Yeah, I gotta radio this in. I flipped a Delver Arena. I don't know if you knew that. The devs uh, the devs aren't doing their thing where they keep me from flipping my uh, Delver. I don't know if they knew that. I mean, yeah, I'm gonna snap counter whatever I have the option to. All right, there goes that card. Because, I mean, them getting a treasure is just worse than anything that they could possibly happen. So, sure. Get in there. All right, I'll pass. I'm hoping they don't have anything to kill my stuff with, but if they do, I guess I get to save something here. Toski is fine. They like their Toski. I mean, I need them to like... Oh, professional face breaker. Okay, and that's fine. Yeah, that's okay. I just realized something. I could have actually set myself up quite nicely there, but I didn't. Oops.
That's not enough. That's not great. That, however, is solid. Uh-huh. Cool. I want to get rid of the menacing thing. This only gets becomes a 4-3 Vigilant, so that's not too good. All right. Sweet. All right, cool. And we got to do it all again. And they can't remove my Sagamore Witch. Oh, that felt good. What colors were they? I think they were... N n I don't know. I'm bringing this in. They might have been... So they had red... Oh, we won. Yeah, we run it. Grixis from the opponent, huh? Well, all right then. I guess we play Clearwater Pathway, Tuck Away... Actually, no, I want to play around Saga here. I got to play around Saga. So if they play Saga, I got to disruption it. I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> they taken my land? I hope it's that and nothing else. So what is the mystery card from this opponent? A Delver. Cool. I don't have to do anything. I just bounce it back to my hand. If they want to remove it, they can. Well, that was a really good turn. Okay. Again, okay. Well, now I want mine. Since we're going to be siphoning so much insight, I want mine. I don't understand what this setup is. Hold on. Is this mine? No, this is the second copy. There's two copies. Got it. I guess I'll play Delver? Does that live? Okay. It's not great for me, but sure. What are they hitting off the top of my deck? Hopefully not more copies of Siphon Insight, because I want my own. I'm very curious what their deck does. Yeah, go for it. They're going to steal... Th okay, so I only have a Sot coming and a few Negates. So one of those are probably that. I'm willing to bet they took one of my counter spells. I, I pass, right? I, I got nothing better to do. Nice. I guess I pass. No reason to do anything. Are these removal spells or threats? And I'm sure a Behold would draw a, a negate if the opponent had one. Pop it, Stitcher. I probably should have actually casted now. Yeah, let's do this now. See if they get, we can get that counter spell out of them. They can get a token out of this. That's fine. Like, I think they have negate or something. Yeah, there you go. If I find a Vapor Snag or whatever, that'd have been great, but I never did. Alright, let's get that out of here. Uh, first you get your token. Do you pay the three life? Okay, so here comes Meat Hook Massacre, I assume. Soul Shatter? That's pretty good here, actually. Okay. Those can't block, so you may as well attack. And they can still meet Hook here. What am I worried about from them? They're pure control. They're not vampires. I'm also very bad at drawing spells, as indicated here on board. Yeah, I, I gotta counter that. I, I can't let you have that one. If you can kill my Poppet Stitch, you're fine. Invoke Despair dodges... Let's see. What do I have here? I'll get rid of the Decayed Zombie. Do they have removal? I'm hoping not. Well, alright. As simple as that. I didn't expect that to work. Turns out if you just punch the opponent enough times, it works. So they play Siphon, so I want to Siphon. Delver on one, and then flip it on two. That's what I'm gaming for. Okay, sure. If they duress me, this is gonna feel bad. I think I'm gonna go ahead and play play out the Silum, uh, Silumgar's Isle or whatever. They have counter magic? They do. Good. Now we know. 
trespasser. Okay. Interesting. Well, I'm hoping they don't have anything. They've already countered. Soul Shatter, that's so good. Very good at magic. Ugh. That's terrible. I got another one? There's no way, right? I mean, yeah, I wish I had untapped mana, but... Hagra Molly, they definitely have another removal spell. Okay. Get in there for two, I guess. Not really able to do much outside of that. Yeah, we'll definitely counter that. I'm down to ten. We keep this from flipping. Yeah, I want both of those. Oh my god, yes. Now if they try to sweep the board, we counter that. And that should be pretty good for us. And then from there, I can actually just, on my upkeep, go for Siphon Insight. They might hit a counter spell here. May I have a counter sp the the spell I wanted or nah? If they go for another spell here, I can counter it, getting me another body. They casted another spell. I guess that's fine. I'm gonna take the big score here. I don't know what this card is, but we'll find out, I guess. Graveyard Trespasser the sequel. That's pretty damn good. I don't know if they're gonna attack now. They could. I mean, I'm more than happy to see them attack, but I doubt they will. Like, if they attack, I think I win. Yeah, I'll just play a, a Delver. I pass back to them. I hope they don't have anything too good here, though. I know they can't hit a sweeper from me, so that's good. Sagmore Witch. That's a counter spell for sure. So let's do this now, then. We do this now so that we get the counter spell out of them. Before oh. Okay. Sure. They can attack. That nets them five damage. I've got to flip my tokens here. Resolve, so they go up to nine. I'll take all of that. Oh, come on. This game. All right. I think I have it. So I have to throw away a card. Plus one. I have all the treasures I need, so I throw that away. Okay, yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and play Sagmore Witch. Cool. Tap target creature. Throw away. Whatever it is on top, I'm going to discard. And that would win- that should end the game here. Because whatever they have, I just counter it back. So they block one that's 369. Yeah, okay. Send everybody in. But wait, hold on. Does that do what they want it to do? They take two, they gain... I guess, sure. Oh, right. Yeah, like, they're still dead? We have our witch. We're on the draw. We don't interact, though. But we have Siphon Insight, so maybe we get to draw from their deck. You know what? Let's run it. Is is today like Grixis? I mean, I'm not gonna complain. Like Grixis is all over the meta, but like, is is like, is it Grixis Day? Because the day of Grixis is very much so. Uh, oh my God, that is every witch. I have every witch almost. I need one more, and then I'll have the playset. I think I almost want to wait, play one. Draw a spell out of them. Follow it up with what I hope to be another turn of me doing shenanigans. Oh, it's artifacts.sadness. Oh, come on. They're going to discard a land. Cool. Oh, they can take a... You see a guard approaching or a Malakir rebirth. That is up to them. Makes sense. No way. Yeah, okay. You don't got another one. I'm just going to play this, and it's going to eat a Voltaic Surge, and I'm going to have to hope that I draw a land to have the second copy live. Or they could just sack Blood Tithe Harvester, I guess. I mean, they got to do it now, thankfully. No block ever. I I'm F6 through your turn. I'm passing. That's how you know 
I'm gonna let you go off. Pop off, buddy. Pop off. No, do they have a land? That sucks. Okay. This isn't bad. I, I don't mind waiting. Sure. We're gonna play their Sanders Lounge. There's the Grixis mana we were looking for. They're gonna draw a card here, I assume. Good news that Evelyn does not come down and block my Sagmore Witch. Bad news is that Evelyn's a 2-5 that blocks my 1-1 one, one token. However, I can just bounce what they're doing back. Sure. That's obviously good. Let's do this in the right order. Yeah, I'll take that. I could always use a land right now while I'm setting up. Let's bounce the Goblin Shaman. Don't need another Malakir Rebirth, unfortunately. Let that resolve. Do they pay it? I guess I pass, right? Jwari Disruption? That's rude. Are you gonna try to counterspell me? Luckily, Duress does not have much to do against me. A block. They, this means that they have a sweeper, so I figure I may as well let them uh, do their thing. What? They had it? Sure. Seems good. Makes sense. Resolve all. Yeah, that's good. All right, let's see what you got in your hand. Or your deck. What do you got for me? Voltaic Surge. That's not bad. Having my own Saga. Also not bad. No, I think I take the Voltaic Surge because they're going to have something to do. And we don't like that. That's not something we like. Okay, pass. Now we need them to not gain like a billion life. I would love to behold the multiverse, but I have to leave up mana in case they animate that land. Bloodthirsty Adversary? That's not good for us. So I lose one. We get rid of the body before the token comes down. Or before the plus one counter gets on it. Okay. They lose three. They gain one back. They lose two on top of that. Okay, so they're at 11. I need to kill this Kaido real bad. They pitched a fable. That's some stuff. Yeah, I gotta get rid of that. That card's a problem. The the fable there would just keep making bodies and I can't allow that. Guess I take the four. I mean I don't really think I should, but I but I am. That's concerning. Yeah, okay. That's Evelyn mana. Ugh. Yeah, that's pretty good. GG's. Yeah, they just outground us. I mean, Kaido did work to nobody's surprise. Kaido was very good. All right, so we need to be able to outgrind them by a lot. All right, with more counter magic and ways to actually fight this opponent, I kind of like this. I'm going to be a little greedy here. I'm going to try to play Delver on one. Hope they don't duress me on one. If they duress me, they take me off my second land. Oh my god, I flipped a Delver. I'm so proud of myself right now. And it's probably not even going to live, is it? I want it. Thank you. We got a lot of counter magic, so. Uh, I want my land, so let's just keep going. I'm just going to counter that too, why not? I don't even want to give him that. Let's play our bank buster swing in. They're down to eight, so I do have the ability to counter them and or bounce an Evelyn. I do not mind this, so I guess if they remove me now, it, it's not great, but... Evelyn, I don't believe, flies. Right, yeah, she does not fly. 
Um, we can put this ability on the stack. I'm hoping... Sweet, I guess? I'm gonna need them not to have something. I mean, I'm gonna try to counter it, right? Oh, it worked. Well, 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 well. I don't hate that whatsoever. So now we just sit back, right? And we just go for the Reckoner Bankbuster. If they play Avalon, they can't block in the air. I don't have that much removal, so sure. Yep, perfect. And that's enough. Oh my god, yes. Okay, cool. All right, so we do want removal against them. As they've shown, they've got a good amount of vampires, good amount of things that I should want to kill. What can I cut? What can I cut? I mean, they have so much removal in their deck. I feel like Siphon Insight's just got to be better. I might regret cutting that many considers, but I don't know. I mean, I got to get something, right? Poppet Stitcher, removal, counterspell. You know what? I'll try it. Just had to make sure that vampire isn't on this list of things that he can't kill. And it's not, so thank God. Whew. Oh. Perfect. They kept a one lander. You love to see it. Let's hope they miss again. Ah, oh, darn it. They got it. What a gamer. I'm going to play Poppet Stitcher here. This requires them to actually answer with more than just Voltaic Surge. Uh, like, I, or no, no, they, they can Voltaic Surge. It still works. All right. Dodge removal, please. No Voltaic Surge, no Voltaic Surge, no Voltaic Surge. Looks like they got it. Dang it. But at least they used both their treasure. Get rid of the synthesizer thing so they can't do anything. Sure. Uh, I'm not gonna play I like my witch yet. I really want to have it sit back behind something before I just throw it out there. Snap counter that. Let's play witch. I mean, I have to try to counter, right? Okay. That's getting blown up right now. Do they have another? Okay, cool. So I can get in there for damage. I am not going to commit more to the board. So, because like if they have another Meat Hook Massacre, they, they got to they gotta pull it off. It does suck that we lost Poppet, though. We lost Poppy. Poppy down. Okay. There's a lot of bad, but this is okay. It's not the worst thing. I don't mind, like, like they block a token, sure. That's fine. If they attack, they get another treasure. They like one card. Okay, yeah, so I'm definitely keeping the Hagra Mauling. Perfect. Oh my god, and we got there. Whoo! Yo, this deck get stomped by some of the most like like some of the starts that some of these decks have but like i love it like but it, it is a little rough because this format is grindy and we don't have anything like a fable of the mirror breaker so i think that's where reckoner bankbuster comes in to kind of serve as a purpose to like just our, our way to grind along with maybe siphon insight hitting their their mirror breakers and all that stuff so other than that though this deck is I, I can't help but wonder, like, is there room for Ledger Shredder? I don't know. I like Ledger Shredder. I think it could be sweet in this deck. Uh, but, yeah, that's something we'll have to see. Because, like, Delver it may not be as good as I want it to be. But, regardless, the list was fun. Thanks so much for watching this video. And, as always, feel free to leave a like, a sub, and hit the bell icon to be notified when a new video goes live. You can always find me on social media at The Asian Avenger, TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, or my personal YouTube, Krim Nguyen, C R I M. N-G-U-Y-E-N. Thanks for watching. I appreciate y'all. I'll see you at the next video.